Welcome to your home sleep study. You may stop, pause, or rewind this tutorial as required. Undergoing a home sleep study allows you the comfort and convenience of being in your own sleeping environment and being able to relax and perform your normal bedtime routine. This video will guide you through the steps to attach the sleep monitoring device sensors correctly. It's best to prepare yourself for your study at least 30 minutes prior to bedtime so that you can get used to wearing the equipment. Have a shower, dry yourself thoroughly, and wear your pajamas or a shirt to bed. Please do not use any moisturizer or lotions and shave if you can. We want to analyze your usual sleep rhythms and behavior, so please maintain your normal evening routines and try to relax. Important, do not touch the buttons on the machine. Your sleep tech will have set the device to automatically start and touching these buttons may result in a failed study and further fees. Step one, unpacking your machine. Open your case. Inside, you will find one sleep study machine with all leads, nasal cannula, and black square abdominal cable attached, one wrist machine with a finger probe, two paper wristbands, two white stretchy respiratory bands, one tube of new prep, several alcohol wipes, several gauze swabs, one roll of medical tape, several electrodes. They look like sticky dots. One sleep study setup manual. Step two, putting the device in place. Attach the sleep recording device unit to your shirt or pajamas using the clips that are attached and let all the leads hang down. Spend a few moments untangling the leads. Step three, attaching the white respiratory bands. These bands are used to determine how much effort you put into breathing by stretching with your chest and abdomen as you breathe. There are snap-on buttons behind the machine to snap the bands in place. Snap the first band onto the back of the device and wrap the band around your chest, above the breasts and under your arms then snap the other end of the band to the device. Snap the second band onto the black square and wrap the band around your waist, then snap the other end of the band to the black square. Reposition to sit around your belly button. Note, ensure the white belts are not twisted. Step four, skin preparation. Skin prep is very important for a successful study. We need to remove all dead skin, oil, sweat and dirt to ensure good electrode contact and signal strength. On your manual, you will see where you need to prep your skin and you can refer to this whenever you need to. There will be several on your face, behind the ears, chest and dominant leg, but let's just start with your face. Put some new prep onto a gauze swab and rub your skin thoroughly, then follow with an alcohol wipe and let dry. First, prep your widow's peaks or outer forehead near your hairline on both sides. Second, prep the center of your forehead. Third, prep on the lower corner of each eye, about one centimeter out from and below the eyelid. Fourth, prep the bony bit behind each ear. Fifth, prep the cheekbone near your ear and jawbone on the right side only. Important, be very careful around the eye area Step five, face electrode placement. These signals will determine if you are asleep and what sleep stage you are in and are vital for a successful study. Already attached to the machine, you will see two sets of three multicolored plaited leads, one white set of two plaited leads, one single lead, one orange twin lead, and one very long twin lead. On the sets of three plaited leads, you will see a tag with an L or R written on it this means left or right. Again, refer to your manual for exact placement if you need to. Grab the first set of multicolored leads and attach an electrode to the end of each lead, ready to place on the left or right side as marked on the tag. First, attach the orange lead to the outer forehead. Then attach the gray lead to the corner of the eye on the same side, making sure you don't go too close to the eyelid. Next, Attach the black lead to the bony area behind the ear on the same side, avoiding the hair. 
Repeat on other side. Finally, attach the blue lead to the centre of the forehead and wrap the loose lead behind the ear. Step 6. Placing the EMG cheek electrodes. The EMG sensors will tell us if you are grinding your teeth, clenching your jaw, talking in your sleep, or have any other abnormal muscle activity. Find the white cable and attach an electrode to each lead, and then stick one to the cheekbone close to your ear and the other to the jawbone near your earlobe on the right side of your face. It doesn't matter which one goes where. Step 7. Placing the ECG electrodes. These sensors will show us what is happening to your heart rhythms during sleep. You will need to prep your skin for the ECG lead placement, just like you did to your face. On the right side, prep your skin above your collarbone, and on the left side, just below the collarbone. Find the shorter orange twin cable and stick an electrode to each lead. Place the shorter one to the right side where you prepped your skin above the collarbone and the longer one to your left side below the collarbone. Step 8. Apply leg electrodes. These sensors will record any restless legs, sleepwalking, or any other unusual limb movements during sleep. Again, you will need to prep your skin for the leg lead placement on your dominant leg at the shin. Find the long grey twin cable and attach an electrode to each lead. Feed the end with electrodes through your pyjamas and underwear and pull enough through so that you can stick them to your shin, then tape the lead to your leg to keep it secure. Step 9. Apply nasal cannula. The nasal cannula will record your breathing, snoring, or any other abnormal respiratory data. If this falls out for an extended period, the study will need to be repeated, so it is vitally important that it is secure and not removed. There are two prongs with a curve in them. Place the prongs into your nostrils with the curve facing toward you and hook over your ears. Slide the securing clip up to your chin and then tape into place. Step 10. Attaching wristband oximeter. This wrist device and finger probe will record your heart rate and oxygen levels. This device must be worn the whole night for a valid sleep study. It's best to put this on your non-dominant hand. Use the single-use paper wristband and feed through the back of the device and place comfortably around your wrist, making sure it's not too tight or loose. If you mess this up, there will be a spare to try again. Place the rubber finger probe on the end of your finger. It's best to use your ring finger, but you can use any finger you like and tape down securely. Finally, you are now ready for your sleep study. Check that you have correctly completed steps 1 to 10 and nothing seems loose or unsticky. If something seems loose, please remove, re-prep your skin and replace the electrode. Spend some time tidying up your leads with tape and tuck them into your white bands to keep them out of the way. Feel free to use the medical tape to tape down any leads, but make sure you have freedom of movement. Do not push any buttons. The recording will start automatically. Relax and go about your usual routine. Sleep like you usually do in all positions. Rise at your usual time. Ignore the machine and any lights or screen display. If something falls off, replace the electrode. Do not try to re-stick a used electrode. Important, if you are sick, remove the device. Your sleep study can be repeated if necessary. In the morning, Carefully remove all parts of the recording unit from your body, but leave the leads attached to the machine so you don't forget anything. Remove the electrodes from the leads and throw them away. Place all parts back into the carry case, including the medical tape, manual and skin prep items for return by 12 p.m. No later, or you will be charged a late fee. Complete the morning questionnaire paperwork and also place into the case. Upon return to our clinic, your study will be sent to the lab and thoracic specialist for analysis and should take approximately two weeks to come back. Your results will be sent directly to your referring GP and you will receive a call to let you know that they are back. If there is anything abnormal detected, you may be requested to come and see one of our therapists to discuss your results in further detail and any treatment options recommended by the specialist. 
relax and don't worry, this is very common. It might take you a little longer to fall asleep, but your sleep architecture should be normal when you finally do fall asleep. All the best and good night.